the word Pueblo with a lowercase p is the dwelling. The word Pueblo with a capital P refers to the people. Archaeologists say that the Pueblo culture dates back to 1200 BC. There were three main periods of ancient occupation all through the southwest. They call the periods Pueblo I, Pueblo II, and Pueblo III. In Pueblo I, that's 750 to 900 AD, early sites housed up to 600 people in a few separate but close spaced settlements. However, they were usually occupied for maybe 30 years or even less. The dwellings were made with stone. The ancient Pueblo people were hunters and gatherers but there seemed to be a shift when corn was introduced. They created water management and used conservation techniques. They used reservoirs and dams. As a result, the number of residential sites increased. In the Pueblo II period, that's 900 to 1150 AD, there was an increase in population. This helped create more than 10,000 sites in only 150 years. Communities housed multi-story buildings that resembled apartment-like structures. Pueblo buildings had a box shaped base, a smaller box on top, and an even smaller one on top of that. The tallest could reach four and five stories high. The platforms were also terraced. The structures were placed against cliff walls with entry through the roof by a ladder. Natural erosion created talus or broken block-like pieces of rock at the bottom of canyon walls. The people had hard rock just a short distance away to make axes and hammers, which could be used as tools. The buildings were made of adobe and stone and wood logs. Adobe is a natural building material made from water, clay or dirt, and straw. The ancient Pueblo builders used stones or molded the adobe into bricks to make the walls of each room. Then they covered them with a layer of smooth adobe. The color of the walls is often the same as the color of the ground nearby. The structures needed wood from trees which were hauled by foot from mountain ranges up to 110 kilometers or 70 miles away. Axes were used to collect the trees which made excellent beams used to support the roof. Rooms averaged 
about 1.83 by 2.44 meters or 6 by 8 feet, which is enough space for two or three people. Single-story rooms face the plaza. Room blocks were stacked so that the tallest section made the Pueblo's rear. Rooms were often organized into suites, with front rooms larger than rear, interior, or storage areas. There were floors for storage, floors for defense, floors for basic living, and floors for ceremony. Pueblos were only accessible through a ladder able to be lowered. This prevented break-ins and unwanted guests. Generally, there were no doors on the bottom floor. This limited access to the buildings. Movable ladders were important. Immense complexes, known as great houses, averaged more than 200 rooms each. Some even had up to 700 rooms. In their day, these ancient towns and cities had multi-storied and multi-purposed buildings surrounding an open plaza and were occupied by hundreds to thousands of ancestral Pueblo people. Many of these dwellings included defensive positions, like the high steep mesas at the ancient Mesa Verde complex or the present-day Sky City Pueblo. These cities hosted cultural and civic events and supported a huge outer region hundreds of miles away linked by roadways. In the Pueblo III period, that's 1150 to 1300 AD, there was a big community change. A 50-year drought occurred between 1130 and 1180 AD. A popular theory is that the ancient Pueblo simply had one too many droughts and without rain it was impossible to grow enough food. After spending centuries building beautiful buildings and homes, the ancient Pueblo moved to the south and the east. The famous Chacao Canyon was abandoned and later the smaller communities around it were abandoned as well. Today there are over 20 federally recognized pueblos that are home to Pueblo people. Unlike many First Nation tribes, the Pueblo people were never forced to leave their homeland and are still living there today. And unlike most ancient dwellings, traditional Pueblo houses are still being used. In fact, some Pueblo people have been living in the same houses as their ancestors used for dozens of generations. <laughs>